Hello and welcome to this review of the Games Earls Play Historical Romance Book Series by Anna Bradley. I'm Olivia, your favorite resource for book recommendations you can easily screenshot, and you're watching Random Olive Reads. Not just any Earl is book one of the series. After their mother causes a disastrous scandal, the Templeton sisters have been hiding in the country for many years. Their family friend somehow convinces Emmeline and Juliet to come to London for the season, where Juliet will try to win the hand of the most eligible gentleman this year, Lord Melrose. Except Melrose is dreading making good on the assumption that he'll marry some other darling debutante, and follows who he believes is a former lover into the library during a ball. Unfortunately, he ends up with Emmeline instead, not knowing who she is and being unable to identify her the next day, having not seen her in the dark. Emmeline is afraid of causing any scandal for herself or her sister, so she keeps the encounter a secret, even as she's trying to push the man towards her sister. At some point, he'll realize that Emmeline is the one he can't get out of his mind, but we get to see them slowly fall in love as themselves in the meantime. Odd Earl Out is book two of the series. Super grumpy Earl Lord Cross is throwing a hunting party at his lodge in the country, trying to forget Miss Juliet Templeton. When she shows up at the party after a carriage accident, he very much wants for her to go away, but she needs his help cleaning up after a scandal of mistaken identity, and then he needs her help matching, matchmaking his cousin. They bicker and banter and fight and flirt, and they're clearly perfect for each other, but Cross needs to let go of his insecurity and belief that he'll be as miserable as his father. Luckily, he's got a chipper and cheery cousin to set him on the right path. Fell in Love with an Earl by Anna Bradley, of course, book three of the series. Adrian has been an absentee father since his wife passed away, and he has spent the last six months getting drunk in London. Upon his return to his country estate, he finds an outspoken governess who he had never met and his wild sons who are hesitant around him. Helena is basically the best governess the boys have ever had, and they never want her to leave, even though she's at risk for dismissal for purely accidental reasons. While Adrian and Helena get off on the wrong foot, he slowly acknowledges that she is good with his sons, and she slowly realizes that he's just heartbroken and avoiding his responsibilities. I did like seeing Adrian slowly soften up his gruff demeanor and realize what's truly important in his life. Earl Crazy is book four of the series. Kit is back in London to look for a wife and possibly halt a family curse, but he's having a tough time letting go of his drunken ways. The lady visiting next door has caught him unconscious outside his cottage door and stirs up a fuss when she assists him back inside. When they meet later at a ball, Kit finds out Tilly's identity and is determined to court her for himself, despite her seeming disinterest. Tilly is afraid of causing scandal wherever she goes, and she's mostly determined to stay out of trouble and try to help her friend this season. But Kit is proving to be pretty persuasive, and they quickly fall in love. There's a bit more exciting drama in store when Tilly's friend gets into a bit of trouble, making this book even more entertaining. Here Comes My Earl is book five and the last book of this series. Oldest sister Fee is just trying to get blend into the background and avoid scandal, but she's in town to support her friend's second season. Except her friend's older brother is being a giant pain and interfering with his sister's marriage prospects. James is the stuffiest of earls with a gruff and serious demeanor and no time for frivolity. And he's begrudgingly enamored of Fee and wondering why she wears all these drab dresses. While they argue over his interference of his sister's love life, they form their own connection and fairly quickly fall in love. This was another quick read and a nice conclusion to the series. Overall, this series follows five sisters, and while it moves in chronological order, it's really easy to read these as standalone novels. These are all pretty shorter length novels, maybe novella length, and fairly quick reads. The angst and drama is pretty low here, and the romance gets resolved quickly. The steam level varies among them depending on how the plot plays out, and I thought these were really fun and enjoyable to read. At the time of this recording, all five books are available on Kindle Unlimited. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found a book or five to add to your TBR. Links to all of these books are in the description box. Like and subscribe to get updates. And you can follow me on Instagram at randomolive.